Mm. Oh, that's cold. That's icy. That's ice coffee this morning. That's that ice. That ice, ice baby, man. Shout out to y'all. Let's talk about making this money, though, man. Because, you know, whether you a, a producer, an engineer, a songwriter, an artist... It could be hard to make this money in this industry. It could definitely be hard to tap into them them bucks, man. It seems like that's what that's what we need, man. So I want to know some creative strategies. Share some creative strategies to get into the chicken, man. Nick's by Lotto, man. Oh, we got that iced coffee today. The market's going crazy. They war in the streets. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, man. Y'all got some questions early. Shout out to everybody coming through, buying badges. Hit that share button on this live. You know what I'm talking about? Top of the morning, Monday morning. Now I'm yawning. What's my man? Somebody say, what's my favorite? Don Caviar. I like that name. Say, what's my favorite reverb, man? I like the Lexicon 480L. And I also, I ain't going to cap, man. I know I'm late to the party on this one, but that Valhalla reverb. I just got into that one. I just got into that, you know, but it's nice. Your tips for starting a business. All right. That's a good question. Starting a business. All right. So starting a business, having a studio business, anything that you want to do. What one of the best pieces of advice that I can give to y'all um, on anything that you start is this, please Please listen to me when I say this, because it's gonna sound simple, but it's a deep is it's really deep when you when you when you think about it. All right. So here's that advice. Begin with the end in mind. Begin with the end in mind. And I use this same kind of analogy that I'm gonna bring up again, like uh it's like a a GPS, like, right? Before you start driving, before you get in your car, you know it where your final destination is. That's what it means to begin with the end in mind. So before you start a business, what is the end result? Before you start to record a song, what is the end result that we are after? Before we sit down to mix, right? Anything that you do, that you want great success from, you need to start with the end in mind and work backwards, okay? What does success look like? Paint that picture of what does it look like for your business to be winning? What does it look like? What does your day look like? Like literally visualize this. What does your day look like if you win it? What does your day look like if your business is doing everything that you want it to do? Right? What kind of people are around you? What are you doing from hour to hour? What time do you get to your office? Where is it at? All right? How long is your commute? You have to literally visualize that whole ending. Visualize the ending of what your success looks like and then start working backwards and reverse engineer your life. Reverse engineer your life, right? And reverse engineering is when you take something that's already done and then you take it apart and figure out how they put it together, all right? So by starting with the end in mind, beginning with the end in mind, you can literally reverse engineer your life. You can say, you know what? My dream job is to be making $100,000 a year from my home studio. Um, I'm going to have these kind of uh, monitors. These people will be my clients. You know, This is how long I will work every day. This is where I will vacation. This is the type of car I'm going to drive. And when you have that listed out and you have that plan and you say, you know what? And I'm going to accomplish all of this by X date. And you begin with the end in mind. And now you can literally see the steps that it's going to take for you to get there. And you can start putting them in place. A lot of us, we just jump on a treadmill and start running and running and running. And wonder why we're not getting nowhere because we working. You working like a mug. But you ain't going nowhere because you didn't put a destination in, right? It's like you jumped in your car and just started driving. Where are you going? Where are you going, man? So I'm going to tell y'all this again. Make sure, like, literally, anything that you do in life, when even your day, when you wake up in the morning, 
Think about visualize that day. Begin with the end in mind. Begin with the end in mind. Okay. You can relate your whole life to a GPS, man. If you know what the end result is, then you know, like, yo, if you get off of track, it's going to be easy to get back on track because you knew where you was going from the first place. See, if you ain't know where you was going, you just knew you wanted to go, then you don't, you know, how you going to know if you off track? See, some of that, that ambition to just go is fine, especially because a lot of us are coming from situations in our lifetime, um, in our, in our life that we don't want to be around, right? So we are in a fight or flight mentality, right? And, and it's and that's cool because I kind of started off that way. We in a fight or flight mentality. It's like, oh man, like it, I'm in a crisis in my lifetime. So what I do is just run, right? And you run towards something. You just running. You run and run and run. It's like, it, let's picture you in a horror movie, right? You in a horror movie, the man with the chainsaw is chasing you, so you just take off and you run into the woods. You got away from him, you ran, but now we're at a point, once you get off in the woods, you enter that, that, that space, the man ain't around no more, now what you gonna do? Now you need to think about what's my next move. Now you got time, all right, actually look around, damn. I done ran around. I got out of my situation. It's kind of like what starting a new business is. A lot of us run into that when you start a new business. You start off on a new endeavor. You just start running. And you run into the woods. And you get all, and you get away from whatever it is that you was trying to escape. But then you ain't got no direction from there. Because you was just running away from something. You wasn't wanting toward nothing. So, I just say, begin with the end in mind. If you think like that. When you wake up in the morning and you take time to visualize what your day is going to be. If you sit down at a mix, right? And you listen to the rough mix, you talk to the you talk to the client, you take time to visualize what the what the end result is going to be. It's going to come a lot faster, it's going to be a lot easier, right? So definitely that's the word, that's the word of the day. It's to begin with the end in mind, all right? Let me go over to some questions, man. Shout out to everybody that's uh, popping badges in the in the chat real quick. Shout out to everybody with the badges. B, Breeze did it. The difference between Wavy Seals and the Pro Tools course, besides the obvious, you can get certified through Avid with the course, okay? Um, I mean, the Wavy Seals Elite, shout out to the Wavy Seals Elite. I'm actually rocking my Wavy Seals Elite t-shirt today. Bing, 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 bing. So the Wavy Seals Elite is a community. The Wavy Seals Elite is a community of audio engineers, a community of producers, a community of my mentors, community of people who are working together to learn and build each other up and network, right? What I discovered with online learning in YouTube University is that, is that there's a gap. There's, a, there's something missing with online learning and it's, and it's the community aspect of it, right? I look at how a lot of opportunities have come my way and it's in most of the time and pretty well not most of the time every single time that an opportunity has come my way it's but it's been because of networking it's because I had a strong network of people who are doing what I'm doing right I know a hundred engineers I know a lot of artists I know a lot of producers right a lot of times when we are in our own bubble and we've learned everything online. We learn, you know, in our own home studios and, and we're working by ourselves. We're missing the networking. We're missing the community aspect. So the Wavy Seals Elite gives you a community to build with. It gives you a community to lean on, to network with, to share ideas, to share jobs, to share whatever it is. It It is it's that community. Like I always say how my... um. My college roommate, when I went to Full Sail, he was a he, we both was a producer and stuff right now. But now he's a multi platinum producer and worked with Kanye and um, all kind of people, right? He's a multi multi platinum producer. This was my roommate when we were uh, in college, right? I can lean on him. I can call him anytime. Dude is like my brother. It's because I had that network, right? So if you take that networking out of the equation, if you take that community out of the equation, 
than what you got. All right? You got a lot of information with no guidance. It's kind of like you just, it's like me telling you, yo, you want to be a doctor? Just go to the library and read all the medical books. Just go to the library and read all the medical books, right? We need mentors. We need guidance. We need networks, okay? That stuff is super important. Shout out to the bad supporters and the people that's following coming through. Shout out to you if you already shared this live with 10 people. But that's what the Wavy Seals Elite is. So it's a, it's first and foremost, it's a community to bridge the gap because online learning is missing the community aspect so much, which is so important to getting gigs, so important to, to getting that next big break that you want, so important to getting your song out, so important to getting the clients that you want. Drop Top Draco in the building was popping. Okay? Now... In addition to the community, in addition to the community that the Wavy Seals Elite brings, you also get a lot of exclusive uh, lessons, right? So I create exclusive content, it's, give up more of my secrets, my gems. I bring cats like if y'all, I don't know if y'all have seen the uh, the Meek Mill template reveal video that I dropped on YouTube. That was just a part of it, right? The real session from uh, Meek Mill's Expensive Pain album with Lil Uzi Vert and Meek Mill on there. The Wavy Seals Elite got to sit and with the uh, crews, uh, Meek Mill's engineer, we got to seek with, sit there and break down Meek Mill vocal chain. We got to break down Lil Uzi Vert vocal chain. We got to break down what kind of processing they're using on the mix bus inside of the, the Meek Mill Lil Uzi Vert song. All right. I had Crystal, uh, 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 Kanye West recording engineer. She came through and told us Kanye's exact recording process. Right, S talked about how how he likes to set up his uh, you know, his vocal chain. Talked about uh, uh, you know, what what how he is in the studio, giving us inside gems from the biggest people in the game that you just can't get. Right? And I share some of this stuff with uh, with with YouTube. But I reserve a lot of this for my for my community, the Wavy Seals Elite. We got Irko coming through. Irko gonna walk us through some dope mixes, man. I've been tapping in with Guru, who's uh, said he's committed to come to the Wavy Seals Elite and give exclusive lesson, right? So it is a lot of community. It's a lot of networking, but more, you know, to me is me bringing my mentors, the people that I learn from, the people that I look up to. To the to the to the Wavy Seals Elite, that's a huge part of it. Totally different from the Pro Two Certification Course. The Pro Two Certification Course is a uh, it's a course designed by Avid to teach you everything about the Pro Two software. Right? It's designed by Avid. It's taught by me. That's the Pro Two Certification Course. It's different than the Wavy Seals Elite. So that's the difference there. But I wanted to get back to that point because I, you know, I know, I know a lot of y'all want to make money in your studio. A lot of y'all need to make money in your studio. You starting off in this career, you want to grow, right? Remember these words, begin with the end in mind. Six words, begin with the end in mind. It's like GPS. Don't just jump in and start driving. So somebody asked earlier, what's my advice on starting a business? And my advice is for you to begin with the end in mind. How much money do you want that business to have, to make? When do you want to sell that business? Uh, what's your exit strategy, right? How do you want to sell it? Who's going to be the company or the entity that buys that business if that's what you're into, right? And if you start off like that and say, you know what? In 10 years, I'm going to sell this business for $20 million to Elon Musk, and if that's how you begin the business, then then all throughout the business, you are positioning yourself to hit that goal. It's simple. It's simple. Begin with the end of mind. Yes, sir. Make sure y'all tap into the Wavy Seals Elite. Shout out to Nina Will in the building. Bro, I learned so much. YouTube keeps schooling us, no doubt. Shout out to the bad supporters. Y'all out here. <laughs> and 
And you gotta you gotta be diverse, man. Nowadays nowadays you gotta be super diverse in your skill set. Make sure you uh make sure y'all hit that share button for me. Hit that share button on this live. You gotta be super diverse in your skill set, right? It's not enough for us right now to only be a, a mixing engineer, all right? You can't just be a recording engineer. You have to have so many skills that you can fill in any hole. You can you got to be able to produce. You might even be able to have you might even have to be able to uh shoot videos. You might have to understand marketing. It's a lot that you got to do in this industry right now, in this world. But it's cool though because we got a lot of um access it's easier now to do stuff than it ever has been before what up wavy community what's popping all right chad mandela what's popping shout out to my bad supporters philip north i see you so yeah making money in this making money from your home studio one thing again begin with the end of mind think about who you want your clients to be how much you want to charge those clients how much See, I, and I, I worked through this with y'all before on how to make a hundred thousand in your home studio. All right. So if you say a hundred thousand is a goal, then we start working backwards from there. We start working backwards. We start breaking it down. All right. Now, if I need to make a hundred thousand dollars, how much do I need to make a month? How much do I need to make a day? How many hours am I going to need to put in each week in order to get that goal? And now once you have that map, that road map, then you can think of some creative strategies. All right, this is the exact number I need. I need to be putting in six hours of studio time a day at $25 an hour, whatever, whatever you decide, right? Once you figure that out, how are you going to get the clients now, right? You're going you're gonna to reach out to people or you're going to start an email campaign or you're going to go out to your local um, events, stand uh, open mics, uh, showcases? Are you going to make some business cards? Are you going to make some t-shirts so that when you out, people know what you do? Or you just represent Nike like you're an athlete? You got on a jersey and stuff. You you giving, you giving Nike billboard space on your back. You giving Nike billboard space on your back when... Let me show you what's on my back. Hold up. Let me see. You got to be your own billboard out here. Hold up. Let me see. We in here? You know? Hold up. Let me see. We good? Okay. If you're going to have a business, you got to be always promoting. Yeah. That's how I'm yeah. Like y'all athlete. For real. Y'all out here rocking Nike every day. Y'all jerseys on like you play for the, like you play for the Bulls. Right? Why not? Why not have a T-shirt on every day to say, "Hey, I make songs, I record songs, I make beats." This is free. This is free advertising. This is free marketing all day long. Right? I walk around with this shirt on. Somebody gonna ask me, "Yo, uh, you got a studio? Yep. You want a book? You want a book?" If I walk around with a basketball jersey on all day, they gonna be like, "Yo, you want a hoop?" I ain't going to make no money from that because that's not what I do. <laughs> make sure y'all promoting yourself. See, a lot of times we are passing up easy opportunities, right? We passing up easy opportunities and the, uh, the big brands understand this. That's why they put their name on everything. Look, I got this coffee from First Watch. Did you think they missed the opportunity to not put their name on this cup? Look at his hat. Even though I got it backwards, they still got a logo on here. Come on, man. Quit missing opportunities. Quit missing opportunities that's right in front of you. Because you want to do what everybody else is doing. Everybody else has been a, a billboard for somebody else. Everybody else has been a billboard for Nike. Everybody else has been a billboard for Gucci. How much money do you get off wearing a Gucci shirt? How is that going to help grow your business? It could possibly. It depends, you know. You know, say you gotta look like money to, to make some money. <laughs> yeah, look, you gotta look like money to attract some money. But I'm just saying, y'all got it. Ain't nothing wrong. I ain't saying nothing wrong with. It. I like nice things. But just make sure that you understand the bigger picture at play. Are you missing opportunities? 
right? That you could have your studio phone number, your studio website on your shirt, on your jacket, on your hat. And when Christmas come, right, that's what you do. All your friends and family, you give all of them studio shirts and jackets and hats. All right? <laughs> give all your friends your shit. <laughs> give all your friends everything that, that, that got your company on it, right? When, when Christmas come, man, you getting a wavy shirt. You getting a wavy shirt. You getting a wavy shirt. You getting some wavy one headphones. Ain't no beats by Dre's. We don't do that. Mm-mm. Nike got enough money. Nike got way enough money. And they don't pay you to be a billboard. They not paying you to be a billboard. Matter of fact, I'll pay some of y'all to be a billboard, man. If y'all want to be a billboard, can y'all please rock some of my stuff? Go to wavywayne.com, cop a wavy shirt, right? And be a billboard for me. If you if you rock with me, at least you can I jump on here. We can talk to each other. I'll talk to you. Go talk to the head of Nike. Go try to talk to the head of Nike. See if they're gonna teach you something. Be a billboard for me. If anything, what's up? That's what I'm trying to see. That's all I'm trying to see. What are we talking about? I'll sign up. Let's go. <laughs> I love you, uh, uh, John. I mean, now that's born in a building. No, but for real, though, be a billboard for your own peoples, man. I'm sure y'all got y'all got your own businesses, got your own logos. You ain't going to the local T-shirt shop yet and printed you up. Right? Your homeboys got, got clothing lines and stuff like that. But no, we just want to, what is we representing? How is how is representing uh 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 the Nike and Louis Vuitton going going to help us? It's not. I tell you what, it's not. But if you put a wavy shirt on every day, that's gonna help us. If you put a wavy shirt on every day, that's gonna help us. Let's go. You get your way. You get your wavy suits elite shirt yet, man? I know we shut some of these out last week. And these motherfuckers fitting too. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker snug in the arms, you know. They fit you around the bank. Got that nice premium material. You can hoop in this. You can even go to a wedding and want to eat. <laughs> nah, for real though, man. I, I'm really, I really mean it. Let us press y'all up. See, shout out to uh Cam Wayne Customs. Hey, say you got the t-shirts companies. Yo, if you a t-shirt company, you in here, you know. You gotta market yourself, man. Shout out to Scott Jordan in the in the building. But for real though, quit missing opportunities. Y'all say y'all want to make money, but then y'all missing opportunities. Screen print of vinyl. I always rock with the screen print. You know, my my joints be screen print. I like the screen print lifestyle. Vinyl cool too though. If you want to pinch. <laughs> but y'all say y'all want to make money, but y'all keep missing. Uh, y'all keep missing opportunities, man. Y'all keep on letting stuff slide by you, 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 you know, you ain't looking at the bigger picture, you ain't looking for the plan field for what it is. So that's all I want y'all to realize is that it's a, it's a million different ways to get it and it's right in front of you. So stop passing it over. Stop selling it for the little bag when you can get to the big bag. Mm. It's another point that I love, right? How we... We be so quick to jump on the little bags, the little bags of money, not the little man bags that y'all be wearing. The little bag, I got one too though, I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> not the little man bags, right? My joint Louie though. <laughs> See, here we go again, right? Back, I'm back, I'm, pro I'm product of my environment. <laughs> But for real though, man, you gotta, you definitely gotta be willing to jump over the little bag to get to the big bag. That's the discipline, right? I was just talking with Rel and, and Eric the other day. We was talking about how, well, <laughs> we was talking about what was we talking about, man? Discipline, right? How discipline is doing stuff for your future self, not for your today self. Your today self wants to die in pleasure. Your future self. Your future self would be hella mad if your today self just just let pleasure overtake you, right? The man purses. Hey, man, look. If you got a big enough bag and skinny enough jeans, you might need a uh, a man purse. 
<laughs> but yeah, man. Make money in your home studio. Start with the begin with the end in mind. Put a number in your head. Say how much you want to make. Work backwards from there. Reverse engineer your whole business. Reverse engineer your whole lifestyle. <clears throat> Nina Will, hey, don't be laughing at people with the little man bags. It ain't funny. Spiritual OG. <laughs> don't laugh at people with the man bags, man. You never know what they got in there. You never know what they got in there. They might have a lip gloss or something. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Just picked up an Aston Spirit mic. Before that, I was using a TLM 49. The Aston Spirit is better for what I do. Okay, that's what's up. I like that quote. Your future self will be mad at your today self. That's a fact, man. We got to really start living for our future. So even that, that whole thing that I said, begin with the end in mind, that applies to your life too. That applies to your life. Like literally, if you never did this, literally write out your obituary. Take some time to write your obituary. What are people going to say about you when you are dead? What are they going to say about you at your funeral? Right? What do you want them to say about you? What do you want it to say on your tombstone? I ain't talking about the pizza. For real though. What do you want it to say on your tombstone? When you think about that, and lit and I'm I'm not being jokey at all. Like literally take an hour or two and sit down and and write your obituary right now as you would want it. Not necessarily as it is today, because some of y'all today, if y'all die today, it might be you know, hopefully, thank God, oh God, please give me some more time because I I need to get it right. You know, please give me some more time. But write your obituary as you would want it. And then reverse engineer that shit and go and start living the life that you will be proud of that you and start living that story that you want people to tell once you did. It's it, listen. It don't get no easier than that. That's the roadmap. Again, you don't jump in the car and just start driving. That's what we doing. No, if you haven't thought about what people are going to say when you dead, when you dead, if you haven't thought about what the end looks like for you, because we got to face that. If you just not being serious um, and, 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 and knowing that, you know, you're going to die and understanding that, then you play in yourself, right? You're going to die. You need to contemplate what death is going to look like for you. And you need to prepare. You got to prepare. Oh, man. Write your obituary and start living your life backwards from there. Write your obituary and start living up to what it is that you want people to say about you when you're gone. All right. What's good, Wayne? What are we talking about? We talking about everything. <laughs> we talk about self-mastery. Wavy, how can I get my 808 to match the key of the beat in Pro Tools? You just got to listen to it, see if it's in the right key, and put it in the right key. But you you watched the doc, the Kanye documentary? I did. You watched it, uh, Jay? Yeah. You watched it? Yeah. What you think about it, man? It was dope. It was dope? <laughs> it was dope. You ain't like it? No, no, no. The Kanye documentary was hard, man. It definitely let me know that, like, people be talking what they're going to say about Kanye, but Kanye always been Kanye, you know? Mm -hmm. From the beginning. From the jump, you know, and that, and that made me feel, I'm glad you watched it, man, because I need you to uh, pick up the camera. I'm ready to start my documentary. I'm ready to start my documentary, man. Nah, for real. Kanye been Kanye. And uh, I'm glad that he had the foresight. He believed, Kanye showed me that what believing in yourself can do for you, no matter what. And being persistent because he saw something inside of him. He saw what the ending could be for him. And he didn't let nobody get in his way to stop him. Not not if they were saying no. Not if they was ignoring him. Kanye was up at these record labels playing his music for people. He was playing Jesus Walks for, for people. And they was like, nah, skip that. Turn that off. Nah, this ain't that, all right? He's up in there playing All Falls Down. They didn't want to hear my mans, right? 
people ain't gonna always see your ain't not gonna always see your vision. People ain't not gonna understand you because you walk in a different path because you walk to a different beat. See, they want you to do what they want, what they come. People want you to do only what they're comfortable with, right? So people will try to limit you to their comfort. They will try to limit you to their comfort. Kanye said, nah, man, forget what you comfortable with. I'm going to do me because that's what I'm comfortable with. Nah, that joint was hella... Um, it was definitely inspirational, and I'm looking forward to the next, uh, to the next one. You know, to the next one. I know it's gonna be like a little series. <laughs> he's uh, he's about what we talking about. He's talking about dying in man purses and how to be successful. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that is what we talking about this morning, huh? Dying man purses, how to be successful. Let's go say all your future blessings are sleeping. In you until you awaken. Oh, so Kanye. No oh, matter of fact, this wasn't even Kanye. I was, uh, well, this was the what was this? I was watching the Fresh Prince. I was watching the first, the new Fresh Prince. Man, put a hundred in the chat if y'all watched that new Fresh Prince. Put a hundred in the chat if y'all watched that new Fresh Prince yet. But uh, Fresh Prince mom's on there. She kept telling, she kept telling my guy, uh, what what she kept saying. She said, "Oh, your crown is waiting." When you have enough courage to put it on. Your crown waiting for you to get enough courage to put it on, B. And that's, to me, that sums up a lot of where we all at, right? We all got greatness in us. We all have great things that we can achieve. But it's going to take the courage to turn away from the bullshit that we doing every day. It's going to take the discipline for us to get our mind right, get our act together, and had the courage to say, you know what? This is not serving me. I'm going to do what is serving me, right? So I love that 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 she kept telling her son that, right? Your crown waiting for you when you get the courage to put it on. Come on, quit playing. How can you make money from your home studio? I missed it. <laughs> no, you see, if you missed it, see, I look. Everything I'm telling y'all during this live is how you can make money from your home studio. It ain't always about sending out a flyer, DMing clients, uh, uh, learning a compressor trick. It's about having the correct mentality. Okay? It's about having the correct mentality to make the money and knowing, hey, money is a, a thing. We don't chase money. We chase the value. So to make money... Money chases value. So if you chase the value, chase giving people value, the money follows that. Money follows value. So you give people value. That means increasing your craft, getting better at what you do, being the best, being the top at, at what you is, you know. Never stop learning. Always get better and better and better and better and better and better and better. Once the value is there, the money has to equate to the value. The money has to. It's like natural laws, right? To where if you are putting out enough value to enough people and creating enough impact, the money will come. You cannot, you can't chase money though. You got to chase value. So think about how can you create more value. I made a tweet the other day. said a lot of us are expecting astronomical returns on tiny investments, Y'all ain't even investing enough time. You watch two videos and think you're supposed to be having a hundred thousand dollar studio business, right? You went to you went to one little seminar and think you a, a real estate mogul. <laughs> you gotta really be down to invest. You gotta give. You need to be willing to give what it is that you want to get. So if you want a million dollars, you need to give a million dollars in value. How you do that now? Now, when you figure that out, if I say I want to get a million dollars, how can I give a billion dollars? How can I give a billion dollars for me to give a billion dollars? That means, you know what? What I can do is I can go on YouTube. I can make uh, uh, courses. I can make these tutorials to teach people how to increase their value, right? And then so exponentially, 
If I can get this person to make a thousand dollars and that person to make five grand and that person and made a hundred grand off of the value that I've helped to give to them. Now I've given a billion dollars in gain. I've given out a billion dollars in value. Right? And I ain't thinking about it like that always. I'm not I'm not always just like, oh, what can I do to get? I just want to give. I just want to give because I understand the how the laws of the universe work. How things need to stay in motion. So you can't block nothing up. You can't try to hoard nothing. If I tried to hoard money or hoard information or nothing, anytime you're trying to hold on to something, guess what? When you are holding on to something, you also at the same time are blocking yourself from receiving. Now, if I'm holding on to this cup, what else can I grab? What else can I get if I'm holding on to this cup? You understand? It's the same. The same as the physical works in the metaphysical. <laughs> if I'm holding on to this cup, what else can I grab? But when I say I'm going to let this cup go, now my hands are free. If you take this cup from me, that's great. Now my light, my load is light and I'm ready for my next gift. I'm ready for the next thing that's going to fall into my hands, okay? I'm not trying to hold on to anything. I'm letting it all go. And if you start to let things go and stop trying to hoard stuff, stop trying to hoard information, stop trying to be the gatekeeper, stop trying to stop the flow of energy, you can't stop the flow. It's just going to flow around your dumb ass if you're trying to hoard it, hold it back. It'll flow right around you. You'll get jumped, skip, trace right up. You'll get skipped. Because the energy is flowing. And if you're the one that's trying to stop the flow, uh, he's gonna, I'm going to keep all the money. I'm keeping all the plug. I'm keeping the plug to myself. I'm going to keep all these gems to me. That's cool. The energy is going to flow around you while you're doing that. All right? Yo, right on, Joseph. So... How does this relate to making money, okay, in your home studio? Because a lot of us, the problem ain't the gear. The problem ain't the clientele. The problem is our mindsets, right? The problem is our mindset. We get too easily distracted. We're not invested enough into what it is that we say that we want to achieve. We never thought about what the end is going to be. So we end up floating around anywhere that the wind blows us. We end up floating around anywhere the wind blows us because we didn't put a destination in our GPS. Blah, I say, are you a millionaire? I'm a, I'm a, man, I'm a, so much more than that. I'm so much more than that. So much more than that. A millionaire? A million? Come on, man, what's a million? <laughs> What's a king to a god? <laughs> Good plan. So much more than that, man. And but it all starts with the mindset. You a you a millionaire too. You a billionaire. You a trillionaire too. Whatever it is that you want to be. Whatever it is that you want to be. All you gotta do is have it right here. All you gotta do is have it right here. And then you gonna have it right here. Uh huh. Have it here. Then you have it here, okay? And if you don't believe that, you'll never reach it. You'll never achieve that. <laughs> something something about faith. You know? No? You got to believe, though. You got to believe in yourself. So, And I ain't talking... You got to believe in yourself, first and foremost. Like Kanye. Kanye was a great example of that. Kanye believed in Kanye. He been the man. <laughs> it was one of my favorite parts in the documentary. He was like, "Oh yeah, man, say he gonna try to rap. He he want to try to rap to me uh, uh, to get the free beats." He said, "That's impossible." Kanye said, "That's impossible. You're not gonna get no free beat for me. That's like going up to the TV store and telling my man, yo, I rap, yo, I watch TV the best. <laughs> I watch I watch hella good TV. I watch TV the best. You should just give me a free TV." <laughs> That's how people be, too. So your friends, you know, when your friends come around, they're like, yo, let me just rap for you, bro. Put me on. And you didn't invest thousands of dollars into your studio gear, but your friend just want to come and record. He's going to spit these bars for you, though, because he spit the best. Like, bro, nah, bro. I don't care how good you rap. I still sell TVs. Exactly. <laughs> 
I don't care. I don't care how good uh uh you sit on that couch. I sell couches, <laughs> so it ain't no way you can convince me. And hey, this is what I do to eat. It's always been a roller coaster ride for me. Some days feel great about my work. Some days feel awful, but the awful days uh, fuel my work ethic. The good days just encourage me to do more. It's a fact, man. I mean, look, I I get into those same. Uh, I I it's a roller coaster for me too. <laughs> It's a roller coaster for me too. If I if I have sometimes I'm working on a mix, right? I'm a I say, keep in mind I'm an artist and I'm I'm sensitive about my shit, you know? If I work on a mix and his client's like, oh man, they hate it. Well that that words on me. Right? That takes a toll to my heart. That shoots me right in the thing, bro. I thought I did the best I could. I really did, you know, and I, I tie a lot of my self worth up. Into into the work that I do, which I know is not a, a good thing. I know that's not that's not the right thing to do, but it's just a part of it, right? It's a part of it, but it also helps to fuel me to want to do better, to to want to always achieve the best because, you know, that is in there, and a part of me does go with every song that I that I work on, right? A part of me is in there. I got a question before you went to full sale. Was you dabbling with audio engineering in any way? Yes. Before I went to Full Sail, I was rapping, producing, doing everything, you know, home studio, little setup. So I was, I was definitely dabbling. Did I know anything? Hell no. I was just doing stuff until it worked. How do you find artists and clients to work with when starting your own studio? Getting outside, joining a community, um, getting uh, networking, going to the networking events, going to uh, local artist shows, talking to them. Once you and then don't be afraid. Don't just go to the show and stand there. We got a podcast coming out today about some networking tips. But don't just go to the to the show and stand there. Hey, how you doing? I'm Wayne Wayne. I'm an audio engineer. I got a studio around the way. I would love to work with you someday. Here's my car. Here's my info. Blah, 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 blah. Go do that to a hundred people at that show. Hundred people. See if you can, see if you don't get five, ten clients out of there. All right. A lot of us, we just waiting on people to magically find us. Ain't nobody going to magically find you. <laughs> you got to go out there and, and tell people what you do and talk about it. And make sure your shirt don't just say Nike. Go to the concert with a shirt that say, I own a studio. Who wants to record? That's what your shirt needs to be saying. What are your favorite mixed albums, songs out at the moment? Hmm. Well, I don't know about that. One of my favorite songs, though, is uh, uh, this, this new Fabio Foreign song. It's called uh, City of Gods. He got Alicia Keys on the uh, on the hook, and he got Kanye on there. That's my shit right now. Jumping off the porch. Just bought the SM7B, bro. Let me tell you. Good looking, Wavy. Yes, sir. I got an SM7B right here. Never too far from a B. Never too far from a B. How's that? How's that a pause? <laughs> Never too far from a B, a billion. I ain't say it. Never mind. Step out of your comfort zone. Get in the mix and network. Absolutely, man. As audio engineers, we find it so hard to network. I know because a lot of us are introverts. I'm an introvert myself. Y'all don't believe me? I know because I be on here talking to the camera and stuff, and and and, and I and I, I you know I've come out of my shell more in the last few years. But uh, I'm very much an introverted person. I don't just be out here talking to people and stuff. Uh, but I I, uh, I realize that it's so important. I realize that it's super important. That if I'm in an event and I have something like, yo, I, I need to talk to that person. I need to network with that person. I'll do myself, my future self, right? And I'm thinking like, not just myself now who would feel comfortable in the back Harming it up, right? Get out that comfort zone and do something that my future self will thank me for. Go and make that connection. Go talk to that person. Go shake their hand. Go tell them what I do. Can you, like, get robbed by having a home studio? Well, what kind of question is that? You can get robbed doing anything. It's all about you having the uh, security, for one. Um, make sure you secure your stuff. Surveillance, you know, insurance is a, you know, one thing. I don't worry about, like... People stealing nothing from me. Everything I got is insured. You know, that'd be the main thing. 
Everything is, I run a real business. Everything is insured. There's surveillance everywhere. There's alarms everywhere, right? So I ain't worried about stuff like that. People going to be people, but you got to watch your energy. A lot of time, your energy is going to be the energy that attracts that, that shit that gets you robbed and, and all that, right? It'd be a lot of times it'd be your energy. Introvert gang, how much you charge for mixing? Shoot me a, a DM. Get yourself a gun. <laughs> Definitely do that too. <laughs> yeah, we ain't dying over no equipment though, man. Look, we ain't dying over nothing though, man. You get you some insurance. One of the one of the main rules, and this is so going back to the making money in your home studio. Once you make it money, one of the main rules that we all need to follow is to pr- protect thy treasures from loss. And this is all of y'all. No matter what, you need to protect yourself from losses. You got insurance on your car, don't you? Because if you crash the car, you can get another one. If you got insurance on your house or your or apartment insurance, whatever. Get insurance on your studio equipment. Get insurance on your life. Get insurance on your life. Okay? Quit playing with yourself. Take yourself seriously. Some of y'all take y'all car more seriously. Y'all care more about y'all car than y'all do your life? Because the government said you had to. See, why don't the government mandate life insurance? Huh? Oh. Y'all don't understand what I be talking about. Y'all don't want to hear me talking like this, man. Why don't the government mandate life insurance? But they have mandated car insurance, and everybody got car insurance on their buckets. But your whole life is out here unprotected. Your whole life is out here unprotected. Your whole studio is out here unprotected. But you got them J's, though. <laughs> that, that's it. You got them J's, though. You willing to die for mine? But in, and then what? Now we need a fish plate. Now we need a fish plate. Car insurance protects who hit, who you hit. Hey, bro, you talking good, yo? I'm just saying, though, man. They got government mandated car insurance, but we ain't got government mandated life insurance. I'm just trying to see, man. And maybe, maybe they they don't want you to think about this, right? Life insurance is one of the main ways to to uh to start generational wealth. Life insurance is one of the 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 main ways that you could begin generational wealth. Imagine you can get a million dollar life insurance policy for thirty dollars a month. You can. You can get a million dollar life insurance for about thirty to a hundred dollars a month. A million dollars life insurance. So if something happened to you, your kids, your family, they are beginning now. They got something right. Now they got something because you cared enough about them to invest in them. Life insurance ain't about you. Life insurance is about them. But we'd rather have car insurance. If life insurance was a mandate, that shit would be wild expensive. But it ain't, though. You know? Why do you use Pro Tools when many people don't use it anymore for this type of music? I don't know what you're talking about. Pro Tools is the number one dog across any genre of music. Yes, other dolls are 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 coming up too, but uh, but but Pro Tools is still number one. Pro Tools is still the most widely used in any professional scenario. The meds already taxed. Imagine insurance, yo. Just don't tell nobody you got it. <laughs> I mean, you can tell people. I mean, everybody should know you got life insurance. I mean, you know, you don't need to know who my beneficiary is. <laughs> You don't need to know who the beneficiary is. You don't need to know that the beneficiary is going to a trust. Oh, man, now we're going too crazy. Phone recording is the future. But years from now. No, it's not. Phone recording is right now. Phone recording ain't the future, Esco. I I, I see what you're saying, but it's right now. All of the possibilities right now. I got a, I got an interface right here. This is, Y'all know about this joint. Connect directly to the iPhone. I can connect any of my high quality studio microphones directly to the to my phone that I'm talking through to y'all on right now and record just as good as I can record through this Apollo interface. So 
It's it's right now. Matter of fact, next time I go on a trip, I'm just taking a microphone. I got a little tribal mic stand. I'm going to take that little interface. I ain't taking no other interface. And I'm going to take some Wavy One Studio headphones, two per. Make sure I go to wavywing.com right now and copy a per. Them dividends be hitting though. That's a fact. Wavy, just a side question, but do you still have your forerunner? Good truck. Absolutely, man. That's my boo. It's definitely got the forerunner, man. <laughs> How, who is you, man? How you know what kind of car I got? <laughs> Probably from them vlogs, man. I be doing them vlogs. Because it'll be about them. And the money you accumulated with the life insurance is worth it, too. Absolutely. Especially you get term life insurance. You can have a cash value. You can you can borrow against your life insurance policy. Get y'all some life insurance, man. Get insurance on your business. Protect Everything that you have worked so hard to accumulate, protect it. All right? Protect it. Yes, a lot of times insurance can be a, a, a scam, right? To where I think car insurance is a scam. For real. But <laughs> that's mine. You into crypto wavy? Yes, absolutely. Bitcoin was down like 5% this morning, down to like 37. I think it's down there back up to 40 real quick. A quick little scrape. Quick little scrape. Shout out to Drea Vocals and I. Absolutely, I'm in the crypto. If you're not in the crypto, if you ain't in the crypto, you sleep, yo. You need to at least be investigating what is going on in the crypto market, right? You should have at least a couple coins just in case, <laughs> in case shit, right? Because the world, look, let me tell you something, man. The only way that we can protect ourselves is through diversification, right? Only way that we can protect ourselves is through diversification of our investments. And the same thing to go like with our, with our like when I was saying earlier, how it's not good enough to just be a, a recording engineer, a mix engineer, right? A lot of people are starting to record themselves. You got to diversify, diversify your talents. You got to also diversify your portfolio. If you holding on to American dollars, if you hold on to, to dollars and we up to like 7 to 12% inflation, inflation is at an all-time high. Like it's historically high. And what does inflation mean? It to, to the way I see inflation is when literally, imagine inflation has been this. See, we look at inflation in the wrong way. Imagine inflation as this. So where inflation is if I gave you $100 and then six months later, I went and let's say inflation was 10%. I went in your bank account and took $10 out just because. And now you only got $90 of that $100 that I said I was going to give you. Now, how do they do that? They do that by making the dollar worth less to where that $100 is now only worth $90. Okay. Inflation is literally robbing you. So if you only, if you saving and you're not investing and you're not, and you're not uh, 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 diversifying your investments, then you are getting robbed. You're getting robbed. And you letting them do it. You letting them do it. If somebody just said, if if, if somebody just walked up to you and, 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 and every uh every time you got paid, they shook you down and took 10, 15% of your paycheck, how long are you gonna let that happen? But if they do it and and then you don't see it like that because you're not paying attention. Then you will let it keep happening over and over and over because it happens with the cost of gas going up. It, ha it happens with the cost of, of milk going up. It happens with the cost of living going up to where that same, but, and then the wages are staying the same. Right? So we're going to give you the same hundred dollars and expect you to, to live, even though everything else is going up. Come on, man. That's what inflation is. They're, they're literally taking the money straight from you. I got studios in the phone. I've never been able to get a phone Pro Tools app. They do. They got a uh, Pro Tools control app. I think it's called Pro Control. It's called Pro Control app that you can get to uh, control your Pro Tools. You still need to. It's not a full recording app, but it's a controller. 808 Hana. That same 100 ain't a 100 no more. Was popping. Yes, indeed. That same 100. Okay, look. And just that, look, I'm looking, I'm watching my Coinbase alert to go off right now. 
it's going up. Okay. Wavy the two track sound is big in Philly. People don't want track out mixes. That's cool. The Avid Control app. Yeah. The two track sound is big. I mean the two tracks is big everywhere. And it's not that they don't want multi tracks, it's that they fallen in love with the way that the two track feels. And a lot of time it's hard as a mix engineer, right, to, to get that sound back. Right, that, that the producer originally created. And like, it's going to be harder for you to get that same sound. So it's not that they don't like the multi-track. It's that it feels different than the two-track that the producer uh, mixed. And that, that, that original beat that they heard is what made them hype about it. It made them fall in love with the song. So it's not like they, uh, that they don't like it. When you come in with a mic, soon, a sappery. Hey, Wavy. You be feeling today how wavy you be feeling today man i'm super wavy <laughs> i'm super wavy is there a lot of studios where you at compared to new york new jersey area that studios everywhere man i could throw a rock hit a studio and probably hit three four rappers along the way but it sucks it looks so tight literally i don't know what that means um i have the control app i need an independent though yeah the garage band <laughs> Garage band, you can record in Garage Band. You can export them out of Garage Band. If you record on your phone, we're talking about recording on your phone. And then also tap in with my man Scott Jordan. Scott Jordan, he got a lot of uh resources about that because that's that's something that he into. He into a lot of uh recording on on the phone. So if y'all want to uh if y'all wanna learn more about that, tap in with him. Yo Wavy, you in the NFTs for sure. I'm I'm into learning about it right now. I don't own any uh, uh NFTs yet. I'm waiting on a good NFT project that I can get into. Something that makes sense to me. I'm not like an art a art collector or nothing like that. So I don't just jump on trends that everybody else is doing because I think I can make some money on it. I gotta really understand it and be passionate about it before I get into it. So um when it's a project that makes sense for me, like I would have jumped on that Nas project, but I heard about it a little late. I, that's the type of type of NFT that I would like, I understand that. I see how the smart contract can be tied to the royalties of the song. And now that is actual, actually an investment that, that could, could pay dividends, right? I understand that part. I'm not an art collector. I ain't got no Basquiat's on my wall or nothing like that. But yeah, the, the, the possibilities of uh, what NFTs can do for every uh, every industry music industry, the real estate industry, the art industry, the possibilities of what NFTs is going to do is crazy. The blockchain itself, like I love, I was just talking about some top secret blockchain ideas, man, that I need somebody to, I need, man, I need Jeff Bezos to hit my line. I need Jeff Bezos to hit my line for this. So listen, man, if y'all want to quit playing, if you need a if you need a team, right? If you out here by yourself learning, and you if you if you struggling with networking or you just want to expand your network, the Wavy Seals Elite offers a place for engineers to communicate, to collaborate, to network, to share ideas, to share resources, to practice, to get their mixes reviewed, to take chances in mix competitions, to get exclusive lessons, exclusive tutorials. The Wavy Seals Elite is the community that you're missing from your online education. The Wavy Seals Elite is everything that 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 I had while I was surrounded by greatness, right? I went to Full Sail. I was surrounded by greatness. I had roommates who are uh, multi-platinum producers, right? When you're learning online, you miss that element. When you go to YouTube University, you miss that chance to build those friendships that will literally last your entire career. Those friendships are so important we need them we need those friendships we need those communi- we need those uh, uh networking opportunities okay that's what the wavy seals elite offers let's take this online learning thing to the next level by actually building a real community you join a real community called the wavy seals elite all right tap in with me the link is in the bio 808 hana say i'm at full sale now i have to get into your program i'm working on mixing every day Let's go. Shout out to all my Wavy Seals elites that's in the building, that's into the into the live right now. If you want to tap in with me, get exclusive lessons. 
and tap in, man. It's Monday. Y'all go get this money. I'm out of here. Let's get it.